Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 26th of June. The signals are taken from our members area for our stock signals membership where our members get potential long fifth wave trades every day on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. Short fifth wave trades, stochastic longs and stochastic shorts. Let's have a look at the long fifth wave trades. I've chosen those today. In our members area every day as I said they get to download. Simply click on the image, download the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet looks something like this today. Now yesterday's session we had lots of pullbacks. There was quite a bearish session there. So everybody gets excited and looks for potential longs. Now I want to go through three examples today. One that we set up yet in yesterday's video that needs adjusting and then two from the daily time frame from today's signals uh, to just discuss uh, what we need to be doing and preparing after a pullback rather than getting in as soon as we can. So let's have a look at the charts. So today I'm using the Think or Swim version of the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Uh, we also have it available for Ninja Trader. Trade station and multi chart. So let's first go to the chart that we set up yesterday. PRTY on the 60 minute. Uh, so Friday's session saw these lows here where my cursor is. Then yesterday we tried to move up and then we made these new wave four lows yesterday and bounced off there. So obviously we have to adjust both the entry and the stop loss for this potential long now because we've got those new lows. So the stop loss we're going to adjust to 15.58 and remember our entry strategy is this green moving average. This is our 6.4 moving average high line here. We also have to take into consideration the high of yesterday in that first hour. So we want to be above there. So 16.04 is the entry long for PRTY now and the stop loss is 15.58 with the target still at 16.80 in our automated target zone here. Um, the pullback zone has found support now in the amber zone. The amber zone is an 80% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones here. But again, it's all with our members, um, scanner membership, and also using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. We have to adjust. Things just don't set up perfectly and go. Once we start to get these signals, we have to adjust the watch list, adjust the stop loss adjust the entry. If there's no risk to reward there, we just simply don't get in. But in this case, we've still got a great entry today above the high of yesterday, outside the 6-4 moving average high, stop losses sensibly below the new wave for low, and we've got a great risk to reward into the entry. So nothing changes except for the entry and the stop loss there. So everything looks pretty good for PRTY if the markets can bounce today. Okay, so now I want to look at two potential longs on the daily time frame from our scanners membership. And I want to discuss why we just don't press the go button straight away. Now, this wave for us, obviously yesterday we've got another new low here on the wave four, but we need a consolidation day. We need a day where this support is consolidated. Then we need a further day for it to start to move away from those wave four lows. So our membership, our scanners membership, the signals we get there are in advance. We get them in plenty of time to start working on these and start building our watch list. So the three, fil the three main filters that we get for uh, the scanner membership is that we've got a wave four. In this case, we're right on the edge of the pullback zone here between the green and amber. So about 80 to 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into the automated target zones in blue up here. The stochastic has crossed over into the oversold zone, but it's not crossed back up yet. And we're looking for it to cross back up against this false breakout stochastic here. This yellow line here and the yellow dots denote a very strong bullish move and we've pulled back against there. But as you can see, the stochastic's not crossed yet. We need a consolidation day and we need to start to move away from there. Also, the 535 oscillator needs to pull back between 90 and 140%. Now, yesterday it did. If we zoom in, you can just see the, the green the oscillator there just appearing at around about the zero between 90 and 140%. So that's good. We need the stochastic crossover 
but we also need that support to be consolidated and formed. So we just put this on our watch list and we look for potential entry areas here. We've got to look left back on this wave three on this pivot point here where it failed and pulled back slightly. So this is a, a decision point where institutional traders say, well, that price is probably a bit, a bit too much and we're going to sell off a little bit and take some profits. So we want to be above there. But also we've got to wait for this consolidation zone to uh, to happen, to start to move away. And we need to make sure that price is going to be above the 6-4 moving average high uh, for when we put this order on. But again, this is early days and I just want to show you how to start building that watch list from our stock scanner membership. So once you've set this up, you've just got to then allow this to happen. It could make a new newer low today and we may have to adjust. But once it finds that support and starts to move away, that's when we start working on it. And again, I will come back over the coming days uh, if this finds support and starts to move away to set this up more accurately. And then another example, DK on the daily time frame. That was PBF, by the way. We maximize the sell here. So we can see the 535 oscillator down here is already between the 90 and 140%. The stochastic has cr crossed down below into the oversold zone and has crossed a couple of times. Now we need this support to hold right now. The wave four is in the green zone. 85% probability it's gonna go on and make a new wave five high if it finds support into this automated target zone, around about $66. Potentially, we've got a good entry here because the six four moving average high, our conservative entry point is below these highs, these pivot points here are around about 54.73. So all we need now is this wave four to find good support. And we are in, if we look left here, quite a good congestion level here, a good support resistance zone. So if the markets are in our favor today and this finds support and starts to move away, higher high, higher low, then tomorrow we would look to place a stop loss and the entry measure the risk to reward and get an entry long for DK. So hopefully this makes a little bit more sense for those members that are already uh, in the membership service for the signals and how to build that watch list. Don't go crazy after a big pullback day like yesterday and start buying. We need that confirmed. We're only a Trump tweet away from further downward movement. So we need some good consolidation at those support levels. Start to move away, then we look for the entries. So that's it for today. Have a great training day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.